Hello everyone, this is Nitpicky Nerd and I want to review the new pictures we have from Star Trek Prodigy which show us uh, Captain Janeway who will be part of the cast in this show. And uh, the first uh, thing that comes to my mind is why does she look so young? Is it set before Voyager or after Voyager? And the problem is we don't really see her uh, pips. So maybe it all takes place before she was even a captain and maybe it's before Voyager. In many ways it will make more sense because after Voyager it seemed as if she got promoted to Admiral really quickly because when we saw her in Star Trek Nemesis talking to Picard she was already an Admiral. So if they set this show right after Voyager it will have to be in a very narrow time frame and what if the show is successful and if it starts running for multiple seasons then how will they fit it in? Will she be an admiral ordering Picard around while simultaneously leading this group of teenage aliens to whatever the hell they're going? And so it doesn't really make sense. And so in many ways it will be more clever to set it all before Voyager and just have her as a younger character and that will explain why she actually looks younger as uh, this cartoon version of her. And we don't see her pips and so maybe she's not even a captain yet. So it's possible I guess. And at least now we know that there will be at least one human character in the show because one of the problems in this poster of uh, the show is that uh, none of the characters were even human. They're all all kinds of exotic aliens which we never saw before and not a single one we recognize and not a single human. So at least we know there is one human character and one Starfleet character in this show and so it might be a good show. I don't want to prejudge it even though it looks like a mashup of a bunch of other kinds of cartoons. They don't look like Star Trek, but uh, it might be good. And you know, I'm cautiously optimistic about this show, mostly because I have a small nephew who I often babysit. He will soon be four years old, and so it's the perfect opportunity to introduce him to Star Trek in a cartoon form, which is supposed to be aimed at little kids, and so it's a perfect timing for me personally. And also I'll be able to tell you how he reacted. I'll be able to say if it actually is a good cartoon for kids, and also for adults, you know, there are a bunch of uh, good cartoons that both little kids and adults can enjoy. I just recently watched uh, with him some cartoon called uh, Masha and the Bear, which is really good even for adults. I actually enjoy it as much as him. And so it's possible to make a cartoon which is for all ages. And so hopefully this Star Trek cartoon will be good for everyone and even if I personally won't enjoy it but I'll see that my nephew is enjoying it and so I'll recommend it for kids for parents with kids to show it to their kids as a way maybe to introduce them to Star Trek and as for continuity and stuff like that as a perfectionist I'm hoping it will all fit together well and it's not uh, just a mess of continuity and something just calling itself Star Trek but being something else completely and not connected to anything but since we do have Captain Janeway, I guess they will be trying to keep it all canon and then we can add it to the collection of Star Trek, I guess. And so we'll wait and see. So I'll be able to not just review the show myself, but also tell you about the reactions of my nephew. I doubt his parents will let me feel him, but I might record some sound clips of him while I watch it with him and then uh, we'll see how he reacts to it. And I'll probably have to watch it with him uh, dubbed in Russian because... He doesn't know English yet, uh, he knows Hebrew and he knows Russian, but uh, I doubt I will find it dubbed in Hebrew, but I will probably find it dubbed in Russian, so I'll probably watch it uh, in Russian with him and maybe record some of his reaction and then I'll be able to make reviews and not just as an adult watching a kid's show, but with an actual kid who is the perfect age to watch it with and then uh, I'll make my review. So I'm cautiously optimistic about the show and the addition of Janeway is good in my opinion and even though I always said Star Trek should just be for all ages from uh, the start. You know, I watched TNG from an early age uh, right away. I didn't need for it to be introduced to me as a cartoon which will be more simplistic. I don't think it's necessary but since they are doing it maybe it will be a good way for even younger kids to get it and so He'll be four years old in a few months and so I guess it's perfect timing so I'll definitely watch it with him and I will be making reviews of it. Unless we both hate it completely and refuse to watch then maybe we'll stop. But uh, anyway I'm curious if this Janeway will be pre-Voyager Janeway because she looks younger and it will make more sense canonically and she doesn't appear to have any rank peeps. And the uniform is still the Voyager uniform and presumably when she came back to the Alpha Quadrant she changed into the Deep Space Nine uniform. You know the grey first contact uniforms and so since she's still in the pre-Voyager uniforms 
and looks younger my bet is or my hope is that it's actually pre-voyager which would be more interesting i think because maybe she will also grow as a character during the show and it won't be just about the kids but uh, her character will also be more childish and less mature maybe so who knows so maybe it will work better if it's pre-voyager so that's my hope so that's all i think about it for today let me know what you think and we'll discuss it in the comments below and i'll see you all next time bye bye